We use microphones in our daily life, in our smartphones, but also if you are a singer or work at the radio station. Several types of microphones are used today, which employ different methods to convert the air pressure variation of a sound wave to an electrical signal. For instance, we can find moving coil, condenser microphone, electrode microphone, ribbon microphone, and so on. In this video, we will learn together how to build a simple microphone reamplifier using an operational amplifier. So let's get started. An operational amplifier, often called op-amp, is a DC coupled high gain electronic voltage amplifier with a differential input and usually a single ended output. In our project, we will use the op-amp in the inverting configuration as shown in the schematic. Its gain is given by this formula. In our circuit diagram, we will need resistors, capacitors, a TLO82 op amp, and of course a microphone, which is a microelectrode type in our project. Now let's begin inserting our components in the breadboard. We we'll begin by the op amp. Make sure its pin number one is on the left side. We add this USB adapter that I have built in order to use the USB port of my computer as a power source, but you can use any 5V power supply instead. Then we connect a red wire from the plus 5V of the USB power supply to the pin number 8 of the op amp and a black wire from the 0V pin of the power supply to the pin number 4 of the op amp. Now we connect a 47K resistor terminals between the pins 3 and 4 of the op amp. We continue with another 47K resistor between the pins 3 and 8 of the op amp. We add a last 47K resistor between pins 2 and 1 of the op amp. Then we connect a 1K resistor terminal to the pin 2 of the op amp and leave the other one free. After that we connect the terminals of a 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor between the terminals of the power supply. Make sure you don't invert the terminals of the capacitor because it may explode. Then we add a 100 nanofarad capacitor between the pins 3 and 4 of the op amp. We connect another 100 nanofarad capacitor to the free terminal of the 1K resistor. Now we connect the positive terminal of a 10 microfarad capacitor to the pin 1 of the op amp. Then we connect the positive terminal of the microphone to the free terminal of the 100 nanofarad capacitor. After that we connect a 10k resistor between pin 8 of the op amp and the positive terminal of the microphone. We also connect the negative terminal of the microphone to the ground using another wire. We also connect another wire to the negative terminal of the 10 microfarad capacitor. And finally we connect another wire to the ground.
Now we connect the output wire to the probe of the oscilloscope and the ground. Now it is time to power the circuit. Let's check the audio signal in the oscilloscope. But wait, the circuit is not working. After checking, I have found that I connected the terminal of the resistor to the wrong pin. Let's get back to the oscilloscope now. As you can see, the circuit is now working fine. The oscilloscope is displaying the audio signal captured by the microphone. Now it is time to connect an audio connector to the amplifier output. You can use headphones to hear the sound. You can also use this audio cable to connect the output of the amplifier to the computer and record the sound. This is the audio file I have recorded on my computer. There is some noise, I will try to fix this problem in another video and show you as well how to build a PCB for this project. We have now come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about electronics, I recommend reading this excellent best-selling book. You will find an Amazon link in the video description, also links to the main components used in this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.